Welcome to the How to Select a Haas Thermostatic Mixing Valve for your Emergency Eye Wash and Shower Equipment. I am Casey Hayes and I am the Director of Haas Integrated. Haas Integrated is a division of Haas Corporation primarily focused on the delivery of tepid water for safety showers and eye washes. So with any of my webinars, I always start with the question of why, and today's question of why is why a thermostatic mixing valve? It's important to know that in the ANSI standard Z358.1 2014 revision, that there is a requirement that all safety shower and eye wash equipment must be provided with a tepid water supply of 60 degrees to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. One of those ways is with a mixing valve. So today we're going to talk about the use of a mixing valve for safety showers and eye washes. And probably most importantly for that requirement of tepid water is to ensure that we are providing proper first aid for the victim. Part of that is the victim comfort. We have to realize that the victim has just been hit with an acid and could be burning their skin. So we wanna make sure that the uh, 15 minute duration of the time in the shower or the eye wash is comfortable enough to ensure that they do stay in for that full 15 minutes. We also have concerns around hypothermia and any temperature below that 60 degree uh, minimum could potentially cause hypothermia to the user and prevent them from that 15 minute drench. So while there are several ways to achieve a tepid water supply, today we're going to be focusing on the Haas mixing valve line. So with the Axion thermostatic mixing valve, these valves are designed specifically for tempered water blending in emergency showers and eye washes. Why that statement is important is you can go out and buy any mixing valve, but mixing valves that aren't designed for safety showers and eye washes will not have the proper fail safe features that are required for emergencies. So with all the Haas Axion thermostatic mixing valves, they are modular in design, all brass design construction with one piece castings that use internal check stops, oversized valve seats, and shuttle designs. And we will talk about these redundancies and fell safe features here in a moment. Some of the features and benefits of the Axion line of thermostatic mixing valve is that they do have low internal pressure drop. This is important to understand because in the ANSI Z358 standard, we have to supply a minimum of 30 PSI to the shower, eye wash, or eye face wash. That alone is a significantly high pressure and putting a mixing valve in line, which does have a pressure drop, and one that has a large pressure drop is going to require additional pressure requirements at your inlet. So ensuring that you're picking a mixing valve with a low pressure drop could potentially prevent the need of pressure boosting pumps. The Axion line of valves do come with a custom shuttle design to virtually eliminate valve binding. Very important to ensure that we are getting that proper temperature and binding would prevent that. It does include a funnel design which improves temperature control with better mixing at low flow rates. That's very important to know because when we are sizing a mixing valve for safety showers and down to eye face washes, we have to ensure that we're doing a mixing valve that can handle up to 20 gallons per minute and possibly down to one and a half to three gallons per minute. So proper internal designs to control that flow with better mixing is very important. The hot water inlet temp is a maximum of 180 degrees Fahrenheit with a minimum of 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And the cold water inlet temperature needs to be no greater than 65 degrees and no less than 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Some other features and benefits, and this is where we get into the difference between a safety um, uh, mixing valve for eye washes and showers versus anything else out there for other types of showers, is we have to ensure that we suspend the hot water when the cold water supply is lost. And this is done to protect against scalding. So again, we have to ensure that if we are to lose cold water, but the hot water supply is still there, we have to ensure that these mixing valves 
suspend all hot water to ensure that we have no hot water passing through that will potentially scald the user, especially if we're using an eye wash or an eye face wash. Since these valves do sit for a significant amount of time between use, we have to ensure that we are lime and calcium resistant. So we have uh, ensured the components are lime and calcium re uh, resistant throughout the entire construction. And with all of the Haas Axion mixing valves, there is an extended three-year warranty. The valves are certified to ASSE 1071. That's the American Society of Sanitary Engineers. This is the standard for mixing valves designated for emergency equipment with safety showers and eye washes. And the valves are also certified to the applicable standards of CSA B125.3. As the mixing valve itself, it is certified as a component of the emergency equipment to ANSI ISCA Z358.1 2014, again, because it does supply the tepid water requirement to the equipment. Some of the valves do offer NSF ANSI 61 and 372 certification, including the AB 1953 regulations for California for the reduction of lead content. And again, this is on select models, and we will discuss that here shortly. So again, another question of why the Axion line. Uh, we do want to prevent, prevent injury reduction. With the anti-scald protection and cold water bypass features, we ensure that under every circumstance other than cold water loss that we provide the proper temperature. And if we do have a cold water loss, we ensure that we do not pass any hot water to the user through the shower head or the eye wash or eye face wash head. So very important to ensure that while there has been an injury because of an acid spill, we don't cause any additional injury due to a bad design mixing valve. And all of these features are built into the Axion line of mixing valves from Haas. We also want to ensure um, victim comfort. We do not want temperature spikes while being used. So we are using a wax-based thermostat technology, which has a very fast response time to changes on the inlet to ensure we have a liable temperature control. So again, we don't want this to be fluctuating from a cold temperature to an extreme hot temperature, which could prevent the user from using that shower eye wash for the full 15 minutes. Again, in the fail safe protection, we do have some of the highest cold water bypass flow rates in the industry and the lowest internal brush, uh, pressure drops to guarantee that functionality. So again, that cold water bypass is because we have lost possibly hot water or the valve has failed in some way. We have to ensure that we get cold water to the users so that we have no disruption in the operation of the equipment. So now looking at the line of mixing valves from Haas Corporation, there are several mixing valves to choose from, and we're going to go through several of the valves and the differences between them. We're going to start at the lower end of the flow rates and work our way up. And with that, we start with the model 9201EW. So this valve, as it sits, is designed for up to three emergency eye face wash fixtures or a maximum flow rate of 10 gallons per minute. It has a minimum flow rate of one gallon per minute. So again, we have to ensure that we can run one eye wash, but again, ensure that we can run up to 10 gallons per minute total. In the event of a hot water failure, the cold water bypass through this valve is 3.8 gallons per minute. So this valve, the 9201EW, is an ideal fit for Haas models such as the 7612, 7361-7461, and the 7260B, 7270B. Now moving to the 9201 EFE, which again is a valve for up to three emergency eye face wash fixtures, but here the maximum flow rate is 12 gallons per minute. And again, the minimum of one gallon per minute, but the difference here is the internals allow for a cold water bypass of up to 10 gallons per minute. So you get the same good mixing features, but in the event of a hot water failure, this valve has more flow through bypass at 10 GPM 
as compared to the previous valve, the 9201 EW, which was 3.8 gallons per minute. And again, this is an ideal fit for the same uh, model shown here below. Now we move into a lead-free brass design, again for up to three emergency eye face wash fixtures. Max flow rate of 12 gallons per minute, and again, good down to one gallon per minute for an eye wash. Same cold water bypass as the previous valve of 10 gallons per minute. But also with the lead-free construction, we are offering in this redundant anti-scald protection with an additional hot shutoff valve providing a second level of protection. So here we have an additional redundancy to ensure that we are not producing scalding water to the end user. Being that this valve is lead free, it is certified to NSF ANSI 61 and 372 and complies with the AB 1953 requirements for the reduction of lead. And again, this is ideal fit for several of our models for the eye wash and eye face wash line. Now we move up to a higher flow rate. This valve, the 9201E, is good for up to one emergency shower and eye face wash combination unit or multiple eye face washes, meaning that it is good for flow rates up to 31 gallons per minute. Still has the same features to ensure good mixing at one gallon per minute for a single eye wash. And here the valve has a cold water bypass rate of 20 gallons per minute. So this design is an ideal fit for models such as the 8356 WCC and the 8300 slash 8309 combination safety shower eye face wash. Moving up to the lead free version of the 31 gallon per minute valve is our 9201H. So again, has the high flow rate of 31 gallons per minute and the minimum of one gallon per minute uh, flow rate has the same cold water bypass of 20 gallons per minute. But again, we've added the redundant anti-scald protection with the additional hot shutoff valve to provide that second level of protection. And being that it is lead free, again, it is certified to NSF ANSI 61 and 372 and complies with AB 1953 for the reduction of lead content. Again, an ideal fit for models such as the 8356 WCC and 8300-8309 combination shower eye face wash. Now we're moving up higher in the flow rates with our model 9202E. Here the flow rate has a maximum of 78 gallons per minute, so we are good for multiple emergency shower and eye face wash fixtures, again up to 70 gallons per minute, with the ability to flow down to one gallon per minute. And here the cold water bypass flow rate is 50 gallons per minute. So this again is an ideal fit for multiple 8356 WCCs and multiple 8300-8309s. And like we have with the other valves, we just move into the lead-free design of the same flow rate. So here we have the model TWBS.SHE, has a maximum flow rate of 74 gallons per minute and a good down to one gallon per minute, has a cold water bypass of 50 gallons per minute, but again includes the redundant anti-scald protection with that additional hot shutoff for scalding protection. And again, being lead free, we are certified to NSF ANSI 61, 372, and complies with the AB 1953 requirements for the reduction of lead. So again, multiple units can flow through this. So multiple 8356 WCCs and multiple 8300-8309s. Now we move into the model TWBS.HF. This is a lead-free design, again designed for multiple emergency shower and face wash fixtures. Has a maximum flow rate of 78 gallons per minute and good down to the one gallon per minute. On this valve, this is the highest bypass flow rate that we offer in our valves. It is good for 79 gallons per minute, so you actually get more through the valve in cold water bypass than you do do normal rates because of the internal designs. This valve does include a pressure sensing diverter valve, 
which basically is sensing the inlet pressures and the outlet pressures. And when there is a pressure differential because of loss of flow, the sensing diverter valve allows for that cold water bypass to happen. We have triple redundant anti-scald protection in there. So even if the main mixing valve fails, we have additional redundancy fix, uh, features in there to ensure that we are not passing scalding water. And being lead free, this valve is certified to NSF's ANSI 61 and 372, and again complies with the AB 1953 regulations for the lead reduction. The Haas TWBS.HF is the valve that is used on all of the Haas integrated tempering booths and skids. And we use that because of the high flow rate, and this valve does have a very low pressure drop. So as I mentioned, there are many options for you to help comply with the temperature requirements of ANSI Z358.1 2014. There are mixing valves, as we discussed. There are steam uh, point of use heaters and electric uh, tanks and tankless designs for you. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, you can go to our website to evaluate the multiple options that you have for you. I thank you for your time today and we look forward to hearing from you soon.